Hello everyone. Welcome to Brownware Animation. For details, you can check out the description of this video and Brownware Animation website. So, let's start learning small things to achieve big goals. In this video, we are going to look at brush setting which is there in ZBrush which will help you to not sculpt on the back face of a surface. If you are sculpting on a front face of a surface, that setting will help you to not disturb the back face of any uh, geometry. So that setting is available for every brush in ZBrush but if you are using for example I am using a clay builder brush for showing you that setting. Uh, if you normally sculpt on a surface right now resolution is too low I will apply Dynamesh onto it. By For applying Dynamesh you can go to the Dynamesh button and just click on the Dynamesh button and Dynamesh will be applied and you have a resolution here. So. Uh, if I start sculpting, you can see I'm sculpting on that surface and you will see that the surface behind the sculpted uh, surface is getting distorted. So how do you not disturb the back face of this particular plane? So for that you have a setting in your brush menu. You can go to the brush menu and you, could, you can go to the auto masking option and there in auto masking there is an option called back face. You just turn on that back face and you will see that let me go back to the original state uh, on this mesh you can just control Z for going back and Dynamesh is still applied on this mesh and if I start sculpting on this surface again then you will see that back surface is not getting affected. You can also use that same setting on other brushes if you go back again and we are using standard, standard brush this time and we will just sculpt on this mesh then you will see that the back face is getting affected but you if you go to the brush setting and you will just turn on that back face mask and you will start sculpting on a surface then you will see that back face is not getting affected it's still plain and this surface is wobbly uh, like sculpted so this setting is available for different brushes here let for example let's for example I choose a chisel brush and if I, I start chiseling on this surface the back surface is getting affected but if I go to the brush menu and I just turn on the back face mask and I started I start chiseling on this mesh you will see that back face is not getting affected this is the back face setting in ZBrush you can check it out so I hope this setting will help you in your future sculpts and this video will be added to the separate playlist which is on brown bear animation tips tricks and issues for zbrush so you can find this video and other other tips and tricks on that particular playlist go and check out the playlist and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to start learning small things to achieve your big goals see you soon in the next video